Hi there, it's Karen here from Turquoise Treasures. Welcome back to working on my autumn journal again. Um, I'm really feeling like we're, we're quite coming towards the end of, of this journal now, which in a way would be sad, but it's actually probably a good thing um, because there might be a little period when I can't do any videos and then by the time we come back, it, the autumn might be almost over. So I just thought I'd just quickly update you on what I've done so far. So I've now added my sari silk. I bought some new sari silk um, in the autumn colour, in this lovely bright orange. I'm hoping I haven't cut them too short, but <laughs> we'll see. Um, but yeah, so they're on. And I've also sewn around all the things, the couple of belly bands, I'll show you the... I did actually, I don't know if you remember the belly band I chose to go in here, but I've changed my mind and I swapped them over. The original one that I was going to put here was this one. But I decided I thought this one went better with the colours. So I ended up sewing around this one and popping this one, in, this one in. I haven't sewn around here in case it ends up being a side tuck or something. And then I'll need to put a, a little clip in the side. So I've done that. And the other one I've sewn around is the, the sideways belly band. This one. And that's in as well. And I've done a few, um, I've added some bits of ribbon to the paper clips because that just finishes them off. And I got that idea from Lily who did the little little houses because I thought I'd just go back to her videos to see what she did with her house. Because if you remember, I was having an hour how to how to fix it in. And what she does, quite simply, is paper clip them in and then you just pop it out and then you can take the uh, work in it. Um, so I've added a little bit of uh, velvet ribbon to this one and another bit of pretty ribbon all in the orangey browny colours for the autumn on this one so each of them has got a slightly a different piece of ribbon in so they've got a quite a few clippings but and I've never done clippings before I've never had had any to to do that and suddenly I've got a a journal full of clippings so I've got this one as well with the nice leaf shaped paper clip so um Oh, and the other thing, of course, is these um, journal, tag, journal cards and tags that I've also sewn around, which actually finishes them off quite nicely. This one, I do want to do a bit of inking on here, actually. I meant to do that, um, just to take that white from around the... Try and knock back that white a little bit from around that flower. So let's just, just quickly, quickly do that. See if I can just lightly ink around that white area and just make it look a bit less white and try and blend it in a bit more with the background and it is actually fading a little bit more into the background doing that which is quite nice so yeah and we're doing getting that all blended in nicely Okay, so I think that actually, that's just blended it back a little bit. It's still, you can still see it's a sticker, but it knocked back a little bit of the white there. So I've got that one, this one, and I think that, I just think going around it with the sewing just gives it that extra finishing touch. And then there's the one with the owl, and I did go around this with a, <laughs> with a pen because it looked a bit plonked in the middle there, so I don't know if that improves it or not. Then I've got this journal card, this journal card, these are all the ones I sewed around since the last video and I've got three postcards here. I haven't added anything extra to them, I'm not sure they need it, they're a bit, they're a bit bent up, they're a bit uh, curled because of the way, because of the gluing but they'll soon flatten out and I've just sewn around them, that's the only thing I've done to them because I think they're so pretty as they are, they really don't need anything else. So they're ready to go in the journal. So let's let's look at what we need to do. I think we, we've got all the pockets in now. Um, but the only thing I haven't done is put anything, um, any kind of pocket at the front. 
So I thought it might be quite nice to at least to have one here. I may do something at the back. I'm not sure at the moment, but I would like to put something here. Um, and I would like to just quickly say that um, I'm filming this on the Friday before you're seeing this. So this will go up for me next Friday. By the time you see it, you'll know, I'm assuming you'll know from Rockley's Weekly Challenge, um, whether my daughter's had her baby or not. Because as I'm, as I'm actually filming this, she's in labour. She's in the hospital, she's been in the hospital all week. I will fill you all in. Hopefully over this weekend I'll be doing Roxy's Weekly Challenge and I'll tell you exactly what's been happening and what the result is. But at the moment I don't know. We're, we're on tender hooks, we're waiting. I know she's in the labour ward. Um, things are moving forward, but she hasn't actually given birth yet. So that's the, uh, the, the, the news at this moment. But by the time you see this video... It should all be done and dusted. And you'll know more than I do, probably. Um, right, so, just thought I said, I won't, I'm, so I'm not ignoring the fact that my daughter's just given birth because at this, at this moment in time, she hasn't. Um, right, so I've got a few options here for some lacy trims that I thought would be nice for a pocket here. Um, I bought, I bought a few of these. I think they're like Indian trims or something that I bought in the market a few little... A few months ago I think this one is a bit small it's really beautiful might make a nice side tuck maybe I'll do that at the end um, at the back have a side tuck that is oh that's rather nice isn't it yes that's a possibility so that's that one then I have this gorgeous one I just bought I think probably half a meter of them I'm not sure it's it's probably only half a yeah, probably half a meter of each of these because they're quite expensive. And I knew there wouldn't be many occasions when I could use them, but this is certainly one of them. And I'm just wondering which way up to do it. Yeah, that way I think. I think that's a definite possibility. That's really pretty, isn't it? Just to pop something in. So that one I think is is my favourite option at the moment. Um. Then I've got this piece, which was actually included in my last Shabby Dabby Doodah order as a freebie. Can you believe it? It's amazing. Look at all this. It's fantastic. Um, and that's a definite option as well. It's quite a big pocket. I mean, it, it'd be, it would be quite a big pocket is what I'm saying. I'm just wondering if a, if a big pocket's a good idea. And also, it, it's I quite like the contrast of the colour with this one. So I'm not sure about this. I think it's not quite what I want but it's really really close and then I have this piece which is the chocolate brown lace it's again I think it's a bit like the other a bit like this one I just don't think it's quite deep enough okay that's that's I think I've pretty much decided then it's going to be a piece of this I love that just need to trim it off a bit at the side tidy it up Quite thick. Right. And let's cut it to size. There's a big thick bit here. That's it, got it. And I think it might need to be that way round because it looks to me as though this might be the back. Yes, I think that's the back, so that's the way it needs to be. Yeah, I like that. Okay, Fabri-Tac.
Oops. Let's move that up so I can glue this. Right, there we are. So I just need to get let, let that dry before I put anything in it. But I think, for me, the obvious thing to go in will be this that I made as part of Rockty's Weekly Challenge, which is this little document folder. Um, I will open it against my better judgment. Ooh, I've got glue on me now. Um, so you can see what it is. Run myself as well. Okay, so we've got this as the outer cover. Then inside there's oh there's a pocket and there's nothing in it. So we need to put something in there, don't we? Okay, good thing I checked then, isn't it? Alright, I don't know if I've got anything suitable really. I've got this. Would that go in there? Ooh, it's a bit tight. It's a sort of um, pocket that I think it needs some... No, so just a little bit. It's not quite big enough, the pocket. Um, we need some ephemera in there, don't we? Some, some vintage ephemera. Let's have a think. What can I, what can I find? I'm going to go and have a look and see what I can find to go in there. So I've pulled out just a few pieces to pop in here. I've got a letter here, um, which is actually from a digital kit, so it's just on paper, um, which I've just um, grunged up a bit. Um, this is from the Rachel and Bella ephemera kit, the Welsh ephemera kit from 1909. This is a piece of Italian, I think it might be rag paper, it certainly feels like a sort of raggy texture. So that's a, just a piece of book page. And then this is um, a, a piece from Mrs. Beaton's cookery book. Really, really old and looks like somebody had been cooking while they, <laughs> while they were looking at the menu. And it's all different cakes, this one. So I thought that was quite a nice one. And I'm just going to fold this up a bit. Then fold it in. One in there. Okay. And then the the Italian rag papery one. It's lovely. It just feels nice to touch this one. So different to the paper. That can go in. Then we have this one, which is just a digital one, but that's also quite a nice little handwritten looking letter. And that can go in as well. Okay, so then we've got a nice little set of um, ephemera pieces. No, nope, that's not right, is it? That goes in like that, and then that goes round, that's it. And then tie it up. It's been a while since I made this, it's almost forgotten how to put it back together, but I think that's right. nice piece of string with just a little gold thread running through it. it looks rather nice.
There we are. And I think this should be dry now, so I'm going to pop it straight in there. So, yeah, should should hold it okay. I hope it will. Um, right. Let's see what we can put in the pockets that we've got. So here we have quite a nice deep pocket here. And I've got my ephemera pieces. So we could put our one of our big tags. Ooh, just trim off this piece of cotton here. I'm going to go in there. We need something behind the belly band. So I'm not absolutely sure what I've whether I've got anything suitable. I've got this piece. I'm not sure whether it's, it's it's wide enough. Is it big enough to go in there? I think it is. I think that'll be okay. Looks like there's room for something else. This. Oh, it's this, it's this little piece that we did at, Ro at Rachel's. I don't know what's going on with this. I feel like it needs tying up, so I might get out a bit more of the sari silk. I think. It just feels like it needs something to tie it together. Yeah. I think I will. I think I'll just wrap it up to hold it together. Is that going to go in here though? I don't think it is, no. <laughs> Quite clearly it's not going to fit in there so I might have to come back to that anyway. Um, what can I put in here? So I've got this, I mean it's just a um, Project Life card which I thought would make quite a good journal card. I mean once I cover it obviously. So that's a much better size isn't it? I think that's what I might need to do is make that into a journal card to go behind here. Yep, I haven't got very far, but we're making on the fly now. So I need some paper. A little tray of scraps here. The other thing I can use, I might use some, some bits of my jelly printing as well. Why not? I've got that piece, I've got that piece, and I've got this. What else have I got? Mm. No, that's about it really. Okay. Nice to use a piece of one of these two. Like this. I think I'm going to collage. Collage this card. Piece of that. And I love this paper, so I'm going to use a piece of this.
on there or underneath. Mm, yeah, okay. And this for the yellow work, that go on there nicely. Just need another piece just to cover up this area. I don't want that, I don't think. I don't think that colour quite works. Got a bit more jelly printing. No, you can overdo one. Overdo it, good thing, can't you? No, not that one. Mm -hmm. well, I've got quite a lot of jelly printing I could use in this, uh, in this little box. What's this? This is good. that way. All right, this piece goes in first. I have had quite a nice day, apart from the being on tender hooks about about Hannah and what's going on with her. Um, I'm going to have to pull that down to cover that little right. Have it covered right down to the bottom. Um, yes, because I had a had an appointment this morning that I was a little bit anxious about at the local hospital, but it all turned out to be fine. I won't go into that. Um, but it was all fine. There wasn't anything to worry about in the end. And um, and then we went for for lunch at a pub that was nearby that we'd found recently and gone and sussed out, but we hadn't eaten there before. And um, really beautiful pub on the you know right on the river. Really gorgeous location, and the food was great. It was really good. We thoroughly enjoyed it. So we're going to go here again because I have. Um, if I haven't mentioned it recently, I am diabetic. Um, I haven't really had a problem with it. I'm not on medication. I've been controlling it with with what I eat, and I've been pretty good mostly. I mean, the last five years, I've had no my blood sugar has stayed stable and well below the level that that causes any kind of concern. Um, so I've been, you know, been fine. I haven't had any issues and been able to not had to go onto any medication and then the last blood test I had all of a sudden my blood sugar shot up and I don't really know why whether I'm living up been living it up a bit too much I don't know I don't feel like I have I don't go out all the time because I have the main issue is is not to not just sweet stuff you have to be careful with the carbs that you eat because they can turn very quickly if it's the wrong carbs like white rice potatoes white pasta all that kind of stuff which I don't eat um, they are the ones you have to avoid because they turn into glucose very very quickly in your body 
so I um, it's all brown rice, brown whole grain, whole grain everything, whole grain bread, whole grain pasta, rice, the lot. Um, I do have the occasional sweet treat. I mean, who doesn't? And um, but I've always been careful with my sweet stuff. I've not really ever been a big sweet, um, you know, big cake eater or anything. But for some reason, my blood sugar's gone up rather more than it should have. So now I'm having to be really, really vigilant about what I eat just to see if I can bring it down. So it's been a bit of a challenge because if you go out to, go out for a meal, it's almost impossible to avoid either having chips or potatoes in some format or white rice or white pasta. They, you know, they, they just don't do things. Um, the whole grain is just a concept that restaurants and pubs have never heard of, I don't think. So it's quite challenging. But this place we went to today, um, it was a vegetarian meal, and I'm not vegetarian, but it came, it didn't have, it was virtually, well not carb free, but it was very low carb. Um, but it had uh, chickpeas, it came with really lovely curried chickpeas, which was delicious, with um, cauliflower steak, which was all char grilled kind of, um, so it had that charring effect, but it was all soft inside and some lovely beans that I've never seen served in a restaurant before, certainly not in a pub. You know, really fresh green beans, it was lovely. Really enjoyed it, and it just showed a little bit more imagination than you normally get in so many places. So yeah, that was a real a real find. Right, I need to back this. Um, I think the simplest thing, as I've got some on my desk, is to use some of this Amazon packaging. A whole pile of it on on my desk, ready just specially for this such an occasion when I need to back something on the fly. So I think that's what I'll do. Okay, so that's all backed, and doesn't look very straight though. Okay. I'll just need to find something, and again, this will be something I shall probably um, sew around afterwards just to finish it off. It looks like it needs a little edge. Let's see if we can just find a focal point for it. Well, I'm tempted by this little chap. I think I've been tempted by him before. He's rather adorable. I think he needs trimming down a bit more. There's rather a lot of white. Okay, I will ink around him just to get rid of all that white, but I think that's better. And I think I need to back him on something. Probably a bit of book page would work quite well. Let's grab my book page. Of German from my one of my German books from years and years ago. a bit big. Yeah, just a bit too big. Okay, let's just ink him up and see if there's anything else I can add from here. Could be.
There he is, isn't he sweet? I like to think he's a harvest mouse, but he could be a field mouse. But harvest is the time, um, is autumn, isn't it? So I'm thinking he's a, he's a harvest mouse. Seeing if there's anything else I could add to him. Fall harvest. Maybe a little, maybe a little leaf would be nice. Let's see if I've got any of these bits will will work. So I've just cut those things out and while I was off camera cutting them out but well a lovely hubby brought me a lovely cup of tea I think he's looking after me because <laughs> because I must confess I had quite a large glass of white wine with my lunch so if I'm at all incoherent at times or don't make too much sense you'll know why I know it's only one glass I mean I was fine I was eating as well so I'm sure I'm fine but it's it's nice to be brought a cup of tea I'll just have a quick slurp and then we'll we'll crack on Okay, so I've been playing around with a little bit with some of these leaves. So this one's the one I've just fussy cut. And then I've got a few little punched leaves, punched out of a painted book page. And I thought, I thought maybe a little cluster of leaves somewhere on the edge. Let's, let's just glue this all on first and then we'll play around with the leaves, get them situated. That's probably the best thing to do, rather than just keep playing around and not have anything glued down. Oop. I think it was drying out a bit while it was sat there with the lid off. Mustn't do that again. Yeah. Okay, and calling him my little harvest mouse, but he might not be. But we're not looking for biological ac accuracy here, are we? It's good enough. You don't see a lot of mice on uh, in digital kits, do you? <laughs> don't know why. It's so cute. Right, where's my little my little leafies? So I'm going to put. I think I'm going to put that one sort of there. And I've got a little kind of maple leafy one. Which I think I'll put kind of there. And then this one. Me down here. Yes, I think that's what I'll do. Little mini cluster of leaves. Perhaps not quite as high up. And this one. And the other thing that will be happening as, you, as you're watching this video, which hasn't actually started yet, but by the time you, you see this, it should have done, 
is our um, kitchen renovation work is starting on Monday. So I thought I really wanted to get at least one more video under my belt before the work starts because next week I think it's going to be they're going to be knocking down walls well at least one if not two um, and there'll be lots of banging and crashing and lots of noise so I may be in here but I don't think I'll be able to um, record because I think it's just going to be too noisy so I thought at least if I can get next week's in and then after that I have no idea so if we can just try and move this along I mean there's not a lot more to do I've just got to fill the pockets really maybe add a few bits of decorative elements down the sides so it may only need one more video so I might try and I might try and squeeze one more in at the weekend it all depends on what happens really which side do I want I'll have this side I'm going to have a little this little tab at the side and then we can just have it sticking out behind the belly band can't we and then I'm going to put this little fall harvest it's, these are, I think these are meant to go on the tabs they're shaped to go on the tabs anyway so I thought I might as well just put it on there and then we better move on I think the uh, time is ticking although I will probably cut some bits out or speed some bits up or whatever as I normally do give ourselves a little bit more time to do things so there we are little journal card all backed like that um, let's move some of these bits out the way and back to the back to the journal okay so that can now pop in there yeah like that I think that works really well Okie dokie, so now we have this little pocket that needs a tag, although it seems a shame in a way to put anything in there because it would cover up all this prettiness behind, but can't not put anything in there, can we? So let's see what I've got as far as the tag goes. Is that going to be... Mm, that's quite nice. Nope, I want it back there with the little birds sitting there. Okay. Needs an ink. I do have other tags that have been finished. I don't know why I picked this one, which is the one that I haven't finished. I've backed it. It's all backed with the Amazon packaging. But it got missed when I was finishing tags off the other the other day when I was doing the last the last video. Maybe in the last video. No idea. No, it probably wasn't actually. That was the one where we did the cover, wasn't it? Let's see. Nice as though this is, it hasn't got a topper. What else have I got? I've got this one, which is finished. This one is probably, oh, I don't know. Let's have a quick look, see if there's anything. This is quite a good size, really, isn't it? I think he might be a little, he's a bit small, really. Bit small for that that pocket. Um, what about this one? Could just tuck it behind there, couldn't I? Well, yep, yeah, maybe that will work. Just need to put a little something on the top here. Okay, we'll go with that. I bring it up a little bit and just see the little rabbit there. Okay, Ooh, right, we need a decent sized card in here. What about this one? Yeah, matching sunflowers, how about that? Yep, that's nice. And a good sized card or... I don't know if this will go in here. Oh no, it's just too big. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Got a couple of, a couple of big tags here. goes best with this. I think this one with the, I don't know if you can see, we've got the um, squirrel over here. So 
I've got that one going in there. Looks like it needs a little something else, doesn't it? I have got a few more things in here that do need finishing, which I hadn't quite realised. He's quite nice. Is he going to look better in in here? Just one moment. Let me try this one out. I'm thinking he might look better in there. I think he does. I like that in there. And his little little eyes staring out at us. Okay. So could that go in here? Yeah, I think it could. Right. Oh, where does this? Oh, I think it's a big pocket behind. Mm, that's probably too thick because there's too many other things going on. Um, could that go in there? I could always make it in, put a little tag shape or round the corners and make it into a tall journal card. Yeah, I think I will. I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Good, I'm glad I've got to use this one in the end. I have to ink, I'll have to sew around it now, won't I? Now that i found a use for it. I wasn't sure whether I would use it. Ink. I think I have inked around this actually, I just need to do those corners again. Alright, so he can go in there. I'm very tempted actually. Yep, I'm sorry, I can't stop fiddling. I want to put something at the top. I would like to put a little little bit of something sticking at the top. Bit with this yeah, a bit of that sorry silk would be good. It's not as if I'm going to have a lot of uses for orange sari silk, is it? So I might as well use it in this for some toppers as well. Right. Look at all these gorgeous colours. This is my latest order from uh, Happy Black Cat is the Etsy shop. I've had their stuff before. And I like how it comes on this card, so it's all nice and neatly packaged so that you've got it ready to hand. Oh, I can't get this off my hand, look. <laughs> I just can't get it to come off. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Come off. There we go. So I've got this gorgeous blue and two shades of pink, so yeah. I guess I might use those in Lace and Ladies. It's almost like I planned it. I may have made this too long, but we will see. Oh, this is a journal card. I've got to back it, haven't I? Oh, goodness gracious, what a silly thing. I'd better do that too. Uh, right, okay. I'll back it onto this uh, packaging as well. All right. Mm. 
Right, so I backed it, inked it, and repunched my hole. So now I can put my little piece of sorry silk in the top and pop it in that pocket. And then I think we've really only got time now to fill the rest of that pocket and then we'll have to come back and do the rest another time. So that's the way it goes. Sometimes you've got exactly what you need and sometimes you just need to make a few more things. It's always the way. What well, is for me? I never quite have the right things pre-made. But then that's all part of the fun. It's making a few more things to go in. There we are. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, here we are. I think we're almost in the middle anyway. Yeah, I've got one more pocket to go, but I'm not gonna don't think I'm gonna have time to fill that today. Alright, so that is gonna wriggle down into the to the bottom of the pocket, and there we are. That's fine, I like that. Okay, so let's see what we've got in here. I've got quite a few smallish things. And I've also got a few things actually, I don't know if these are going to work. I've got a few um like the cigarette cards, I don't know where they came from. I just sort of found them in my box. <laughs> I can't remember getting them. But they're all suitable for, a, for an autumn journal. So let's just see if any of those will fit. And so I've got tickets. Ooh, more more um, cigarette cards. All right. So I need something. Let's see. I don't know how deep they can't remember how deep these pockets are. This might be a bit thick. Maybe this will go better. Just to see how big I need things to be. The cigarette cards might be too small. Oh, that goes down quite a way, doesn't it? I just can't remember. Oh yeah, they're quite deep these pockets, so actually cigarette cards are maybe for another another journal. So I've got these cards from um, the La Peche kit. They're all backed. Maybe these would be good. Size-wise they seem to work quite well. Let's just see if they'll go in. Yeah. Another one of one of these domed ones. That one they'll all need a bit of inking and probably a bit of um, sewing around, but I just want to check them for size really. That go in there. That's quite a biggie. Might pop that one in there. Okay, quick battery change and slurp of tea and then we're back um, so I've got these in they'll all need inking as I said maybe a little bit of sewing around see how they look um, and now I can just pop in a few extra little bits I pulled these out that are from the kit so we could have something like that and it's been back so it can all be written on so I might just pop that yeah, I might pop that in there like that I did wonder about just, I've got a few um, vertical, oh this is from, clearly if this is a digital kit, I just forgot I had them, they're not original um, cigarette cards, so they can be written on, I might just ink around that one, I think it's going to have to be backed because it's a bit flimsy, but I'll do that off camera I think. Done enough faffing in this video just to make it a little bit more sturdy. I'm gonna I'm gonna back around that one. So I think that that pocket is nice and stuffed. I've got a few other small bits that can go in little pockets. But yeah, so that I think once these have all been inked round and possibly sewn around, and this one I need backing, 
this will look really nice this pocket I think that's great love that shall we just try see if I can find a couple of things to go in these two pockets oh this three okay well I think there's clear what is going to have to go in here one of these so I have a squirrel you know I love a squirrel he's rather nice actually what else have I got oh there's badgers it's a bit different yep one of those <laughs> again I think I want to back it what shall I do shall I go for the he does go quite nicely in there colour wise alright he can go there I need something for the pockets so I've got this nice um, journal card let that go in here quite like that with the bow po poking out the top ok and then a smaller journal card I think what do we have what happened to those ones that I'd finished what did I do with them there we are it's, is that so that one yep on there and then let's see have I got any small I've got this, this is quite a nice little journal card and I might pop that in here there we are, oh no oh no I have got one in there I, it almost blended in so well, I forgot it was there I thought it was part of the uh, part of the pocket oh no I've got to put something in behind here haven't I what about this little booklet well it's not really a booklet it's just a little journal cardy thing that could go in like that, couldn't it? There, there we go. Field. So I've finished um, the first half of the signature and filled those. I'll do a little bit of work on some of the journal cards, but I think on here particularly. But otherwise, happy with the way it's going. So that's it. This is flopping about a little bit. Um, not sure if I'm going to need to put something across here. But anyway, I'll think about that. And that is our video. What are they? I'm just tying it down just so it's held in place more or less. Filling up quite nicely. But there's a bit of room left. I think we can get a bit more in there. Okay, so thank you for joining me today. I'm hoping this doesn't overrun too much. I'll have to cut lots of bits out. Me, fa me uh, waffling on probably. And I'll see you again soon. And hopefully next time I see you, although you will have already seen it <laughs> it's all a bit confusing when I'm scheduling ahead but I hope to make my Roxy's Weekly Challenge video over this weekend which will go up on Wednesday and then you'll know what's happening right now okay bye for now